name is Stanley Kerwin, and I am a filmmaker. Action. There's a, there, there are a lot of signs to show that I was destined to be a filmmaker, you know? Stanley Kerwin, Stanley K, Stanley Kubrick. You know what I mean? One of the greatest directors of all time. My initials, SK, you know, Cinema King. Whew. I consider myself to be the best new thing to happen to cinema since the year 1970. I'm going to the very prestigious Cecil Community College. You know, they're known for their film department, fantastic stuff. Uh, when I first met Stanley, it was in my uh, video production one class. I usually have one rule for my uh, beginning students on, on what it is that they can produce in, in my Video One class, and that is that it, it has to be viewable by all audiences. And uh, Stanley broke that rule. Well, right now what I'm working on is this fantastic script uh, that was written none other than by me called Eat It. And it's about, you know, relationships and how they, you know, get solidified or torn apart. And it's played out, you know, we, we, we learn a lesson from these elaborate dream sequences, you know what I mean? Like, like really sort of Terry Gilliam style nonsense that I'm just gonna throw at the screen and, and very cerebral, you know, the audience they might not get it, but they'll get it. You know, critics will get it. Audience will get it later once the critics tell them what it is. The script really came to me, you know, just kind of flowed through me over a period of most of my life. I was writing in, in coffee shops late at night. I, I would write after hours in a pizza place. You know, they'd kick me out, but I wouldn't go. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, it just, it just came out. And, and those places, they get really mad when you like hook up a typewriter, but you know, I can't write any other way. Well, I'm Mark, and uh, you know, I hired Mark to, to film this whole thing. He's my, he's my director of photography, my DP, my dip, as we call in the industry. Well, I got involved because um, I asked Stanley to buy me booze, because I won't be 21 for another month. And um, he said he would do it, but I had to shoot his movie for him, because he doesn't have a camera, and I do. I held auditions in the Technology Center of Cecil College, and it just created this gigantic buzz. You know, everybody from all over it campus was coming to, to see if they could be in the movie, see like, just whatever they could do. I, I had people auditioning to bring me coffee when I asked for it, you know what I mean? It was... Stanley, I, I, I didn't hear anybody ask about <laughs> Nobody asked you, Mark! Why don't you shut your face? Okay. All right. You're a DP. You're a flippin' dip, right? You don't talk. I... Hi. Well, my name is Caitlin, but everyone just calls me Katie and Katie Twadell. I got involved with this project because I was, you know, on campus, like, like you. I was at the theater, because that's what I do. It's theater. Um, but oh, and I saw a flyer. There was, it was big and colorful, and they were asking, you know, for auditions. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Good, and your kid? Katie. Katie, Katie. Twaddell. Twaddell. <laughs> Twaddell, okay. My prize girl, you know, the one that really shone through the rest of them, like a rose in a cesspool. Okay, I'm, I'm doing a monologue from Death of a Salesman. <sighs> Willie Lomain was not a great man. In fact, he was kind of poor. He was never really in magazines. 
but bad shit happened to him. I mean, she's just got this face that looks like it was carved out of marble. She's gorgeous. She's got the biggest talent. That was fantastic. I was on the edge of my seat. I was more like in the middle, but mostly on the edge of my seat. Really? Yeah, it was so good, and you're so perfect. All right, so what did you think of the script when Stanley first gave it to you? I can't read. Okay. You, uh, Stanley, the guy from the from the poster. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Hey, yeah, you must be Tom? Tom, Thomas Jane, yeah. Uh, but my stage name is uh, Clark Brando. Yeah. Clark Brando. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You know, a lot of people were asking me, why did you cast Clark Brando as your lead? And, you know, I mean, he has this presence. You know, he is to leading men what Bob Dylan is to folk singing. So what I've prepared is kind of, um, it's kind of like a montage from The Matrix. You know what I mean? It's just like, bam, bam, bam. It's like rapid fire quotes. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? All right. Everybody, Morpheus is fighting Neo. That was number one. Also, he's the only guy that showed up, period, so. Well, I was just, you know, I was on my way to, um, to biology class. I'm, 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 I'm a general studies major. I, I generally just study. And, uh, I saw, you know, it was just, the poster was just there, you know what I mean? Auditions today. And I, I gotta tell you, you know, this whole studying generally thing is kind of just, it's just a phase I'm going through. You know, for my makeup artist, I hired this woman and she's, you know, she said to be one of the best in the field. I've gotten recommendations from all the top special effects people, you know. I, uh, I saw your portfolio and look, I gotta tell you, it's fantastic. I, I've loved every single image. The the mermaid that you did for um, Lost in Tropicana with the disemboweled mermaid, fantastic. Like I saw it as a good student film. But I, I, what is your name? Because, what? Because when I read the, the portfolio, all it says was a bunch of squiggly lines, like cartoon cursive. And that's kind of what I wrote on this paper. So I'm meeting with waves. Yeah, I'm great. No, you look great, hon. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey. There's sexual tension there. It's so palpable. I mean, you could you could chop through it with your hands. I think the hardest part of the film, you know, the hardest part is really trying to keep it professional, trying to keep all my emotions inside and not bursting out of my pants. I'm going to go, and I'm going to get the uh, makeup artist. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Clark should be here in a second. And uh, Hey, Clark! How you doing, oh buddy? How's it yeah. going? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is uh, Clark Brando. Clark. This is Katie Twadell. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Cool. Nice Great. You. Katie, listen. Hey. So the thing today is going to be Angel of Demon. You're going to be the demon. You're going to be all spooky and scary. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, what are you doing? Smoking. All right. Whatever. And uh, and so that's fine. So you guys get acquainted. I'm going to go get mom's. She's our. Uh, Makeup lady, so I'll be right back. So, Hi. how are you doing? Okay. Um, nice to meet you. Nice Shake your hand you. again. <laughs> yeah, just why she's good. So, um, uh, how'd you hear about this um, movie going on? Oh, there was there's some posters. It was big and it was colorful. Yeah. And it was really nice. Yeah, I saw it. So it brought me here too. Oh, wow, it's like it's like fate or something. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. He's nice. He's really nice. He's got great hair. Tall, very than me. She seems like a like a nice, uh, wholesome type of girl. Probably gonna do her. 
That'd be fun. Hey guys, listen, shut the hell up for a second. Here comes Moms. Hey, Moms. Yeah, she's our makeup artist. She's gonna take good care of you and make you look all beautiful and pretty. Not that you need any help, but uh, she's gonna do that. I am Clark. It's nice to Don't touch her. She's... <laughs> you know, I find that if I wear my sunglasses for the first day of set, that it, you know, it's good. It adds like an extra attitude sort of thing. That especially with these big bright light, they look stupid, don't they? Like they're kind of. I don't really see the point of it. Okay. All right. I was trying to bring aviators back. Anyway. Hey! hey. Look who it is? Ooh, oh no! It's it's the devil. Yeah. It's the devil, but me. not really. I'll explain it. Hold on. What? Ooh, and it's the pretty angel. Hey! Hey! hey. Look at this pearl necklace. Look at all this pearl. Oh, yes. So big. And look at these wings. Mark, get the wings. Look. Look, Mark. Look at the wings. He's a very hands-on director. I didn't realize hands-on was quite so hands-on. Moms, fantastic. You did great, moms. Mom. All right, cool. You're in, you're in hell. You're in the hell that men go through every time that they're alone. Every morning I wake up, I feel this way. I wouldn't say he's an idiot to his face, because he seems like he'd overreact to it. But he's totally, like, you know, an idiot. Like, every time you look outside, it's just red and dark, and you're alone. And then you see Eve, and Eve is your angel in her big Lady Gaga glasses. Look at those. And she's like everything you want. And when you see her, she looks like an angel. She's so bright and it almost hurts you to touch the light, but you try to. And every time that it burns, you just want more. Here, here's the script. Just look at the script. Look at the script. Borrow his script. Okay. Okay. All right, keep reading. Okay, I'm gonna be directing you with this. Oh. This giant megaphone. So that way you can keep the subtlety of the performance, but I can also talk to you without having to whisper and you going, what did you say? Because you'll know. They'll know everything I say. Action. This is the cage I have made for myself and has been made for me by me. He talk. Oh, poor Adam, all alone in his cage. Talk more with your chest. If only I could rescue him. Bob up and down. Bob up and down. If only I could rescue him. Adam wanted. Wanted real bad. Her chest, a long foot to free me from these shackles, which I have made. Break the chains of love, Adam. Break the chains of love. Perfect. Look at those arms. Fantastic. Yeah, I think the first I think the first day really went great. You know, I think. I think everyone's working together really well. I think this movie's gonna come together and be the best thing ever, honestly. So listen, like, do you wanna ride? Do you wanna get something to eat? I haven't eaten in like three days. Do you wanna get like maybe some like mushu pudding or something? Or, or you know, like some mouse duck or something? Or, um, or what? No, I, I ever, I've actually already got a ride. You have a ride? Yeah, I've got, I've got a ride. Hello, Clark. Hey, you're, uh, you ready to get going? Hey, yeah. Clark. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, buddy? You, uh, cool. Want to get out of it? All right, Katie, bye. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. see ya. See ya, bud. No, I'll see you. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. God, I'm getting a mojito. Did you ever, like, change your shirt? Yeah, like, I changed my shirt today. This is really? a different shirt. This looks like the same, like, medium you've been wearing for, like, the past four days. You realize that you're also wearing the same kind of shirt. Yeah, but I'm a director. I can wear whatever I want. How we doing? How's it going, Katie? How you doing, huh? You doing good? Good. How you doing, moms? Great, great. People tell me all the time that I'm a controversial filmmaker, but the thing is, you know, you need to bring controversy to the, to the forefront. This looks good. This looks really good. If you could do this, this brown all over, like, like in here and stuff, and like on the back of the shoulders and 
Wait, so like she's covered in mud or? No, no, she's black. She's black. You know, we're uh, taking a little break from filming today because because there was discrepancy. There was a discrepancy over this scene. And I thought the scene was good and metaphorical and full of raw emotion. Stanley decided that it would be okay to have a scene where I was a slave master and Katie was a slave in blackface. We're gonna push her up against this. This is like the, the plantation house. But I don't, I personally, you know, as, as an actor, don't feel comfortable. What are you talking about? Don't feel comfortable. Mark's cousin's black. He said it's okay. Mark, is it okay? It, we're getting down to it. We're getting down to the wire right now. You know what I mean? And, 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 and the tension, that tension I told you about, that palpable tension between me and Katie, my darling, my beautiful porcelain china doll, it's getting out of control. You know, I know that as soon as I say, that's a wrap, we're going to be on it. Now, you still, what's the relationship with uh, your co-star still like? That relationship, it's good. It's entirely professional. Yeah, we had sex. Hey, hey. Katie, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing? You doing good? Oh, good. You smell like pita bread. Peter? Fantastic. All right, you, you're a sad, sad peasant woman, okay, whose husband has died because a cow hit him, all right? Now, just go ahead and lay here. Go ahead. This is where we're shooting the scene today. Go ahead and lay here, all right? Great, okay, all right. Okay. You're a stranger. You don't even know who you are. You're a walking contradiction. You think everything is something else, yes, all right? Good. And you don't know. You don't know that you can trust this man. Just like that. That's fantastic. You don't know that you can trust him, but you have to make her trust you, okay? So that's what you got to do, all right? So you're just going to you're going to open yourself to him, all right? So you just open up. Ooh. I know how to do it. What's wrong? I I don't I don't think I don't think they need to do that. I don't think Okay, they all right. Well, what, all right, fine, fine. All right, well, you open up when he's there, okay? And you open up. So I'm going to need you to get undressed. Okay, and then you come up. What? Yeah, you got to be naked. And then you come up, and it's then you just like, um, just get on her. Excuse me. Get on what? her? Wait, wait a minute. Do you mean naked as in, like, no clothes on? I knew it was a porn. What other kind of naked is there? No, it's not a porn. It's a controversial art film. Stop it. No clothes. Naked. Yes, naked. You gotta get naked. Take another break. Because we were supposed to do a nude scene today. And someone, Katie, doesn't want to do nude scenes. I don't think you said anything about a nude scene before. I totally said that. I said that that was the first thing I said when you showed up at auditions. That's not Eat it, true. Sir. I believe the first thing you said was, hi, I'm Stanley Kerwin or something. I said, look, Katie, my light, my darling, my peach tree, you have to understand. This scene represents vulnerability, it represents intimacy, it represents you nude. It's not like it really matters. I've seen her naked. Like a lot. Would it it's help? Okay. Look, maybe it's I'll okay. get naked instead. No, nobody wants you to get like, naked. Okay, look, no, I'll, I'll get no, naked. I'll get naked. No, and, and you can get look. naked too, okay? And then we'll both be naked and look. you'll be alright. Look, look, what's I'm on? getting naked. No, what are you look. doing? It's okay, because no, I'll be you're naked. You're ruining it. You'll get the same Stop effect. It. Okay, no, wait. Okay. Naked. All right, I can use this. I can use this. Okay, look, look he's naked. He said this. No. You can obviously tell just looking at me. I'm a good Catholic girl. You know, I have a very strict religious upbringing and I'm not comfortable with certain things. Because that's like a 73 love scene back when Hollywood had its balls and, and all the actors did their own love scene. Look, you look fantastic. Look at that. Look at that shape he's in. Don't you want that? That's what you want. Look, come on. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll get naked too. It's okay. I'm not getting naked. God does not like titties. Yeah, I'm just shooting some stuff. You know, maybe some like B-roll. Yeah. Do you know where the actors are? Katie. Hey, Katie, honey. Honey bunny bear. Hey, my beautiful white flower. Brando, where are you? Oh. <laughs> I 
comes walking through the halls and I was looking for the light of my life as beautiful as she is Katie Waddell and what is she doing but sucking the face off of Clark Brando for God's sake, the man's got no meat on his bones whatsoever. It's like the guitar for ACDC. Like, what is, it's, it's disgusting. And their, their tongues are like twisting in knots. It's disgusting. And, and, and I'm like, but, but Katie, what about us? And she's like, well, there was never any us, Stanley. And I can't deal with it. I'm gonna do a little scene tonight that represents aggravated love, love aggressive. So she's in safari in Africa representing how she needs to venture out and find love and when she can't, then everything's wrong. We're then gonna douse her in like a carry amount of blood. It's gonna be fantastic and you're gonna love it every minute of it. gonna be great. All right. Come on. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hon, how you doing? You look great. Hey, how's it going, Clark? Cool, okay. Hon, come on up here. You're in the jungles of Africa. You're in the African safari and you're looking for love, but you can't find it, okay? okay. I'm sure he feels a lot of things like jealousy and jealousy and jealousy, but that's okay, you know, because I'm not very intimidated by his presence as his light competition. And at that point, we're probably gonna douse you in like a quart of blood, tiny, oh. tiny quart of blood. Okay, is my, my, my dress going to be okay? You look, you look great. Oh, uh, that wasn't what yeah. I was asking. Okay, and action. Oh, here. In the dark country of Africa, I will find love. Love and trust and other things. More blood. I want more blood. I need a lot more blood than that. I need more blood. More blood. More blood. Oh no, I need carry one, two, and the remake all rolled into one thing right now. Um, Just keep that blood I, flowing. More blood. Cut? No, we can't cut. We're not cutting. Okay. There's no cutting in movie making. Um, nope. No, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. Obstacles. And obstacles, there, popsicles, whatever. There. Keep going. Oh my God. Oh, can we stop? No. This? No cutting. Can we I don't cut? care what you're done with. No, we're not cutting. We're not cutting. I don't care how cold you are. How cold's your heart? How cold is your heart? How cold's the heart? More blood. Okay, cut. What's the problem? My eyes are stinging. Your eyes are stinging? Yes. You think your eyes are supposed to sting in love? You're always seeing things that you shouldn't see. That's why your eyes sting. Okay. Right, look, same. What? What do you want? You're cut too. Great. Stanley. What? I, uh, I had a question about the script. What are you questioning? <laughs> yeah, I'm done with the movie. You're fired. Yeah, sure. You were fired before you got here. Take the stuff out of your trailer, out of my house, and get out. Get out of here. Stop crying. Everybody's done going home. Well, we're uh, nearing the end of our production and uh, everyone has quit except for me and Mark. He's my dip. And uh, 
Yeah, I, uh, you know, after everyone quit, I decided to take the footage that we had, and I decided to edit it together. I'm trying to, do you, Mark, do you know what to do? Because I'm like, I'm kind of lost. I've had better co-stars, better directors, better makeup people that didn't try and grope me after I left the set. Um, well, and I guess that's also true of the director and the co-star. It's for the best, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, we're all going to go off and do other things, and, you know, he's going to basically live at Cecil College for the rest of his life. It, you know, I think life goes on, you know? While we were doing the show, I thought, I thought maybe we might have a connection, you know, a real connection. But he's decided to pursue other artistic endeavors. There are more titties in the world. What is it? I don't remember. I don't even remember shooting this. Did you record over everything? No, I didn't record over everything. Well, then what are we doing? Do you know editing. how you? You know how to use Final Cut Pro? Because I don't. Yeah, I do, but I'm not the editor. You are. I have, to, I have to film it, remember? Yeah, I know you have to film it. Of course you wouldn't edit it. What would you know how to do? Dig. What, what are you doing? Don't call me I, I'm helping you, this. Yeah, you're helping me. Yeah, you're really helping me, Mark. You're doing a fantastic job. I don't have to keep helping you. Yeah, well, why don't you? Why, why, that's a good question. Why, do you why keep, not? You why know what? Keep I quit. Why do you I keep quit. helping me, buddy? You quit? You can't quit. I quit. You can't quit. I quit. What are you doing? I quit. What are you doing? Come on. All right, look, everyone's gone. Mark is gone. Katie's gone. Clark is dead for all I care. That weird makeup lady never really came back from wherever it was she went. I think she went to the bathroom. She's been gone for like eight days. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be this auteur, you know, this, this cinema king. And I can't be that because that would mean getting rid of all the people that were close to me and all my friends and, and these people that I, that I, not just that I use, but that I need. Because that's what happens when, 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 you, when you lose sight of everything and, and you start using people and, and, and they eventually just leave you. So my next movie is going to be basically about that, you know what I mean? It's going to be about how, you know, you can come from everything to be more of everything because nothing's ever a rags to riches story. I was born this way, man. You know what I mean? I was born to be cinema king. Maybe the next film, which, you know, I tell you, is going to be all is a message movie all about how, you know, you shouldn't use people. How you should never lose sight of that. How we're all equal. Maybe the cast and crew will come back for this one. Maybe Mark will be there to be the DP. Maybe, you know, Katie will come back and be my beautiful bell tower, my hourglass shaped figure. You know what I mean? Maybe that sexual tension, maybe it's real. You know what I mean? Maybe Clark can rot in hell. Maybe that weird makeup lady, you know, she'll come back. Everyone loves her. You know what I mean? And maybe it'll even warrant another documentary just like this one.